What's up guys? Dr. Brett Rolson, Ground Overhead PT, coming at you again with your daily body armor. If you haven't done so guys, subscribe to the channel for daily videos on how to get back to training or get back to running or back to sports fast without pain. Okay, so uh, a lot of athletes we've been working with, okay, struggling to keep those knees out, okay, maintaining that torque of the hip, keeping the hips out, keeping the, the arch of the foot up, Okay, and it's leading to a host of problems either at the low back, hip, knee, or even the ankle and foot. Okay, so we want to work on mobility of being able to have that external rotation torque at that hip so that we can access the positions that we need to be in, whether it be a squat, uh, front squat, uh, bottom of your uh, receiving position for the clean. Um, and even runners, if you're in that kind of shallow lunge stance on each step, still being able to maintain that knee out versus constantly having to collapse in. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a table assisted pigeon stretch. So if you tried doing the pigeon stretch on the floor or the band and it's just bothering you or you feel like you can't actually comfortably get in that position and just relax, try using the tabletop. Okay, so here a couple feet off the ground, I'm going to bring my right leg up. Now, if you're someone whose leg is way up here, okay, just modify it. Bring your foot back a little bit, okay? But you wanna square up the leg, okay? So you don't wanna be back here with the foot way out front. Square up the leg, 90 degrees. Okay, I'm gonna plank my knee down. And to actually go into the stretch, I'm just gonna bring my torso over my leg without arching or rounding at my back, okay? So I'm thinking ribs down, midsection is brace, and I'm hinging at my hip and I should feel a big pull all along the outside of my hip and butt, okay? For these, we're thinking two minutes total. Hold for five to 10 seconds. Feel the pull, see if you can sink the torso down a little bit more on each rep. Come out, relax for a few seconds, and we're gonna repeat for that total time, anywhere from 90 seconds to two minutes. After that, see if you can start going down to that squat, driving those knees out, being able to sit between the legs versus having to sit back into an uncomfortable position with your torso leaning forward. Okay guys, so give it a shot. Use it as a warm up before you get under the bar or before your runs and tune back in tomorrow for another video on how to bulletproof your body and be your absolute best. Thanks guys.